write text. Just talk about uh, <laughs> that big goal you scored late in the game to, to get it tied after so much frustration, really, the whole game. Yeah, no doubt. I think we knew going into this weekend they got a good goalie. They play a good structured game. Um, so we talked about playing smart hockey, playing patience. I don't think we were surprised with the way that worked out. And I think even yesterday was a, a pretty similar game. Um, but I think as far as the goal, it could have been anybody. We were we were firing there in the third, and it was about time one went in. Yeah, there are some games like that where you you do everything, and uh, I mean you couldn't get it, couldn't get a break. I mean I'm just I'm running through my mind. Uh, <laughs> shoulda, shoulda, shouldas. Yeah, I think uh, you know what we had some big chances earlier in the game. I know there was kind of like a, a quick two on zero, a quick breakaway. Another two on one on that PK, like so we had our chances. So I think for us, just down the stretch, it's going to be big to finish those early and really give us that momentum early in the game. But I think it's just a testament too to the resilience um, and just sticking with it and just keep plugging away. So that's uh, that's a big time character win for that group. At, at this time of year, any kind of breath of yeah is, can be really big. Yeah, no doubt. I think. Uh, you know what, it gets so overwhelming at times. So I think just uh, taking it day by day and just enjoying the moment. I know for me, uh, just talking to the guys before the game, I'm like, hey, we're not together with this group that much longer. Uh, and, you know, hopefully we end up on, on top and that's our goal. But for now, I like enjoy the moment. Uh, and I think it's been a, a good reality check for me, especially post Christmas, just to be like, hey, it's going, it's going really fast and this is a special place to play. So to see the, the crowd energy there, the amount of people that were just in the lobby waiting could barely even get out there to sing the fight song. Uh, the momentum's huge and it's gonna keep carrying us down here at the stretch. Just talk about your goal, Nolan, and kind of describe what happened there. Yeah, I think a big thing with uh, Embarico there is uh, he, he sees a lot of pucks, and if he sees it, he's going to save it. He's <laughs> one of the best goalies in the league and probably in the country. And uh, So it was a big uh, focus for us to try to move the puck east-west, uh, get him to slide a bit, get net front traffic. I think, uh, I don't know if it was Millsy or Ertl, but we had some good net front presence. Um, I just snuck around the backside and tried to uh, lose my defenseman and just one of those right place, right times. Griff did a great job getting it to the net, and it was, uh, it was a hard one to miss. <laughs> Dylan up. Dylan, obviously, when we talk about like low-scoring games, Simon's the first name that comes up, but it's really a team effort. How difficult is it to be so like stout defensively on back-to-back -back nights? You know, I think it's uh, the league a little bit, too, and you just got to know who you're playing. So, um, yeah, I think uh, that was probably what impressed me the most. I think it's easy to get um, aggravated. I know, like, even tonight compared to last night, them getting that first goal, it was a little bit of that, okay, like, do we start taking risks? Do we start playing a little riskier? And I think we just did a great job sticking to the game plan. Um, and you know what, it, it paid off. The coaches put a lot, a lot of work in uh, to prepare us, and it's up to us to kind of stick to that game plan, even when it's not going our way at the start. Scary moment <clears throat> late after you guys tied it. I don't remember who it was, but it was just one of those left the puck behind around the crease, yeah. and uh, Simon came up big, and uh, you know, obviously then in the shootout. Yeah, I mean, he's an absolute stud. I can't say enough good things about not only him as a player, but uh, just the privilege to be his captain and get to learn from his leadership. Uh, I think it's a guy you'd be surprised with maybe being from Slovakia. Uh, you know, he's getting here, he's uncomfortable, he's learning the language. He is a natural born leader and it's, he's a impressive guy to be around. He's one of the mentally toughest guys I know. And just uh, during the, the off week, we got to sit down and, and just kind of catch up on a few things. And he's challenging me and my leadership and, and vice versa. So he's been a, a special player and a special friend to me.